Good morning, Watkinsville. Good morning. I don't think I need to ask this question, but are you ready? (laughs) Smallest town, biggest story, $3 million budget, 3,000 people, roll the video. There once was a small town in rural Georgia, but size and budget may have been the only small things about it. This small town has a big story, big ideas, big dreams. Today, we're going to tell you the story of a small town called Watkinsville. For most of its 200 years, Watkinsville was built by hands that milked cows, fixed cars, and planted and picked crops. But starting in the early 2000s, this town began facing growth pressures, seeing societal divides, and battling aging infrastructure, all laying a blanket of pressure on residents. Most of the small towns near us just sat back. After all, what can a small town with a tiny budget do? The easy course is to just make sure the trash gets hauled off, have the police keep writing tickets, and ensure everyone's leaves and limbs are picked up. Thankfully, Watkinsville didn't want to be like everybody else. City leaders embraced being welcoming to all. They built new sidewalks, fixed old parks, and created places where people could gather. They even turned an old factory into a place of restaurants, music, businesses, and a cool new library. They saved farms. They have room for art. Our historic Main Street is full. In Watkinsville, we believe that rebuilding the bonds of community is the safest path to strengthening democracy, and that includes all of our community. People should know their neighbors and understand their differences. We won't always agree, but we need to be able to disagree agreeably. Living in a small town with a big story sure makes things more fun. Good morning. I am thrilled that this team is here to share the Watkinsville story with you today. So what does it take to create a big story for a small town to create a big story like that one? One word. Courage. Courage. Courage to have big ideas and big dreams when you have every reason to think small. Courage to be creative when precedent and laws encourage the exact opposite. Courage to listen but the discernment to know when to act. Courage is to start with yes and figure it out rather than starting with no. Courage to bring all citizens to the table for hard conversations. Courage to create facilities and parks that all citizens can enjoy. Courage to move forward with unity when others are using politics to divide. And courage to dream big when you have every reason to stay small. Where do we find the courage to strengthen the bonds in our community and the bonds that hold democracy. One of the places we find it is through our partnership with Extra Special People, which helps ensure that all citizens in our city have the opportunity to enjoy everything we have to offer. Courage often comes from the most unlikely places. Nearly 40 years ago, a seed was planted in our town for a special needs camp. After the tragic passing of our founder, one would assume that the story would end, but not in this town. Our community rallied together and took what was once one woman's dream and turned it into so much more. ESP, known as Extra Special People, looked at the courage of special needs individuals and stared challenge in the face, becoming the heartbeat of Watkinsville. This small seed turned into a summer camp for hundreds, which led to a waiting list that then led to a 24,000 square foot building, which led to a universally designed baseball field and playground of possibilities. ESP provides relief for hundreds of families, deep engagement for thousands for community service, and Purpose through Java Joy, a mobile coffee cart that employs people with disabilities called Joy Vistas, a national inspiration, and best of all, hugs! Um, at ESP, I found friendship and a sense of belonging. I can 
confident, I get, I get confidence and courage to, uh, to follow my dream to write a book and publish it. When you take 1,200 square feet of space, mix it together in a town that believes in people of all abilities, you get a campus that is now setting the standard for communities across the country. This concept is now changing other communities for the better. The heartbeat of Watkinsville is now in three other cities with a list of dozens to follow. This courage came from the most unlikely place, and it was spreading. This town was just getting started. In 2020, Watkinsville was hurting. Many were struggling with COVID, while others were fearful of their safety after national news of the deaths of Ahmaud Aubrey, George Floyd, and Breonna Taylor. It is on the backdrop of this that the leaders of this small southern community realized that they had to find a courage, not just any courage, but a bold courage, a bold courage to set the challenges in the face and to meet head on the spirit of hatred before it could take root in the community. These leaders gathered proactively and worked with others in the community to develop unity in the community. And once that unity was developed, once everyone began to pull together, then there was a desire to move forward, to bring a connection that would not only change the lives of people in Watkinsville, but all the areas connected to Watkinsville. And with that being said, it is an honor that leaders came together, police officers, political leaders, and pastors. It took courage to create this unity in the community and to develop a lasting connection. Now together, we fed many the hungry with food drives. We reached out to share the COVID vaccine with over 1,500 people. And while others stood by on the sideline, mm, we came together to have a, a facilitated a serious conversation with our police in our community to address police practices and more importantly, came together to have a strong conversation and to have a prayer vigil in downtown Watkinsville to honor the lives of the needlessly lost. But yet, there's more. <laughs> In the middle of a town, there was a cool old baseball field called Rocket Field. Weeds, ants, and ancient dugouts, but it was located in a sweet location. But people with dogs were using it as a dog park, and sliding into poop is not fun. No! Disgusting! <laughs> the restrooms were nasty, and the city did not have the money to fix them up. But in Watkinsville, we find a way. A local businessman wanted a place where kids could play, but the city needed three times more money than it had to fix up the ball field, but we found the courage to make it happen. Today, we have one of the nicest grass fields in Oconee County, a stage for concerts and clean restrooms too. And yet again, we had the courage to plan for the future. When we heard that the last large tract of undeveloped land might be bought by developers, we knew we needed to preserve this for our community. So with full public support and some creative financing, we figured out a way to purchase the land that everybody sees as they come into our little town. Rolling pastures, gorgeous oak trees overlooking fishing ponds lined with beautiful forests. After we purchased the land, we reached out to the community through town hall meetings and walks along the 100 acres to figure out the best use of this property. We discovered local experts in everything from wildlife to stream bed to native grassland conservation. Our local bike shop owner helped us figure out the best place to have mountain bike trails. And we even have found the place for our local high school cross-country team to have their own place to run. 
Of course we are listening to our friends at ESP to make sure that this is truly accessible to all. We want to honor the family that farmed this land. Thomas Farm Preserve is a place that the entire community can gather and enjoy nature for generations to come. In all these examples, in all these examples, this small town leaned in with eyes set to become Georgia's most connected community and asked every resident to come and be a part of our community, eat in our restaurants, shop in our shops, live in our community, work with many of the opportunities that we have created, and they came. We asked people to connect with people of all abilities, with neighbors and friends and people of different colors, different faiths, different politics, different strengths, and they connected. We asked people to create Starner Works of Arts that have an art center, the place of their business and dreams, and they created. From ball fields to hay fields, from universally designed playgrounds to new developments, the smallest budget, the smallest city, one big story, strengthening democracy thanks to one thing. Hooray!